Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to be taking you through my PC build using the Z390 Aorus Pro Wi-Fi Gaming Motherboard. The first component I'm going to be installing is the CPU. So just get started, I just got to unclip the latch, lift that up. And the CPU I'm going to be using for this build is that there. And just to make sure that I put this in the right way, I have to match that golden triangle there up with the triangle that's on the motherboard um, so I just place it in you shouldn't have to force it in it should just go in if you're finding yourself forcing it in you're doing something wrong so once it's in put the latch back down it does take a bit of force but once it's in uh, the plastic cap just pops right off next I'll be installing the RAM I have two 8 gig sticks and this is what I'll be using with this particular motherboard, there are actually four memory slots, and because I only have two sticks of RAM, I need to make sure I install these in the correct slots. Um, you'll notice down the left here, they're actually labeled DDR4, B1, B2, A1, and A2. And according to the manual, it basically says if you've got two sticks of RAM, you should be using slots B2 and A2, or B1 and and A1. I'll be using B1 and A1. So before I install it, just open up the notches. And when you install your RAM, you just have to make sure that that notch there lines up with the motherboard. And then just push it in until it clicks. It's done. Next, I'll be installing my CPU cooler. I've gone with the Noctor NH D15 and I've already taken this out of the box. And this thing is an absolute beast. It is just super huge. Um, I'm not sure I quite needed this for my build, but I wanted the best air cooling, hence why I got it. And you'll see how big this thing is once I install it into the motherboard. The first part I need to install is the back plate and that goes underneath the motherboard. Next I got to install these plastic spaces. Next I'm going to install the brackets or the mounts. Um, and you do have two options, you can either mount these this way or that way. I'm going to mount mine this way and I'll show you why when I go to install the fans. And lastly the screws. So I'm going to tell you now why I mounted these in this way. It's because I want my fans to sit this way so that the airflow come from the front of my case to the back. If I had mounted these the other way around the fans would be sitting this way and would be pushing the air up in my case. So it really comes down to which way you want the air to flow inside your case. Next up, thermal paste. I had to remove the fans in order to get to these screws. And to be honest, it took a bit of time playing around to, to get these screws to go in as well because they weren't going in and I had to force it in. Just so you can see how big the CPU cooler actually is, this is what it looks like once installed onto the motherboard and it is a beast. The back fan had to be mounted slightly higher so it wouldn't hit the RAM but that's normal for this. But that is massive. So this is the case I went with, it's the Cooler Master H500M. It's been reviewed quite a lot on YouTube and it's one of the best 
air cooling cases that you can get and there's plenty of room inside so now I'm just gonna put the motherboard into the case So I've gone with a 700 watt semi-modular power supply by EVGA. For my graphics card I've gone with the ASUS ROG Strix RTX 2080 Ti and it's a pretty chunky card. It's quite heavy but it, it feels pretty solid. Um, there's two HDMI ports, two display ports, and a USB-C port. There's also a little switch down here, I'm not too sure if you can see it, but basically it's a performance mode and a quiet mode. The difference is when it's on quiet mode, it just limits to how fast the fans can spin. The other button on here is the on-off switch, and that turns on um, the RGB for the graphics card. To make room for the graphics card, I've removed two plates from here and then just flick this latch open. A good thing about this case is they provide this thing here, sort of kind of like a mount and basically what it does, it just helps with GPU sag, so you just put it the right height and then just tighten up the screws. I've gone with a 1TB Samsung SSD, there's nothing special about it, it's just your standard SSD got these screws here that I'm going to put onto the SSD and then mount it onto the case. The good thing about this case is there's actually quite a lot of places you can mount the drive. You've got these two here, you've also got these two bays here, you've got here and here, and there's also a couple of places on the back, but for this build I'm going to mount this right here. So that's pretty much everything put together. The only thing left now is to power it up. And she's alive. So just a couple of issues I ran into with this build was this mount here. So this is supposed to help with the GPU sag, but I found that when it was actually holding up the GPU, it was hitting off my fan and would, it would stop it from spinning. So it's actually pretty useless and I won't be able to use that at all. The other issue um, with pairing this particular case and this motherboard is that on the front panel of this case, there are four USB 3 slots. And it had two of these connections here that I had to connect to the motherboard. And unfortunately the motherboard only had a slot for one connection. So it basically means that two out of these four USB slots won't be working. Um, if I'm wrong or if there's a way to get it working, please let me know. But otherwise it's, it's not a big deal.